Hey, we are here for the grilling gala with Chuck, our Dutch oven master. I'm Connie from Horse and Kiki, and we just made the most delicious pot of Dutch oven almond chicken. Almond chicken. This is like a Chuck classic. Yeah. You've right. been making it how long? About 40 years. 40 years. This recipe has proven itself in the Dutch oven, and we want to. We're going to work our way backwards and tell you all the. All the things you need to make this recipe. Tell us our components. What, what's in here, Chuck? Um, first, you'll start with some rice, about a cup of rice, and then you put uh, chicken broth in there. And then you want to put some slivered almonds in there. Add yeah. some sherry to it. And then a can of cream of chicken soup. And of course, the chicken. Chicken go on top. Mm -hmm. Yum, and it cooks in there for about an hour. Right. And then you have this tasty deliciousness. So let's get our chicken going, shall we? Okay. okay. Okay, tell me about your, what do you have for your fire starters again? This is sawdust, wax, and an egg. An egg carton? Paper, paper egg carton. And you have about 25 charcoals in here. Tell me your logic again. We use a 12 inch Dutch oven and uh, you just double the size, like two times 12. Okay. But I also like to add one. Okay. Because it's a deep Dutch oven, it's not a shallow Dutch oven. That should last an hour. In the wind, we probably might need a few more because they, they, they cook a little bit fat and they'll go a little quicker. I'll give you about 350, is that what you said? Uh huh. Okay. So we've got in our. our oh. Our charcoal in our chimney starter with this homemade starts down below which are doing really great because it is kind of windy today so we're excited to see how this happens how do you know when they're ready they're, they're turning white that's they're just about this this is just right they're starting to cook okay does the wind help get that quicker yeah okay yeah let's get some going out what I want on the bottom. Okay. Okay. And then you'll do the same on top? Nope. No. Put more on top. Why is that? Because it's gonna cook from the bottom down and you it will you want more heat on the top because to make it more even. Okay. And this is your 12 inch? 12 inch. And we're doing your beans. Doing the beans. You know, I want to spray this. I'm not baking a cake, but I still want to spray it. For some reason, I just got in the habit of spraying everything. It keeps the Dutch ovens a little bit better. You have, you, the coating on your pans is like perfect. Yeah, it's called the patina. That's the seasoning part okay. of it. Okay. <clears throat> One thing that we absolutely love and adore about Chuck is how well he takes care of his Dutch oven. You can see this beautiful patina that he's taken good care. So. This cast iron has this like perfect shine to it. Um, it is just a perfect replication of how you take care of this. Chuck, where would you say, how do you get your Dutch ovens to look so good? Clean them right after you use them. Okay, how do you okay. clean them? The best thing, method that I've found is there's, you can actually get a cast iron brush. Okay. Okay. Um, Made by Full Circle. It's a really <laughs> stiff yes. nylon brush. Yes. It's for exactly cast iron, okay? You put, um, some people will go, don't put water in the Dutch oven or in a cast iron frying pan, but you put a, while it's still warm, I put a little bit of warm water in there, and then I use that brush. Okay. And I wipe it out, and I spray it with the lodge spray. Okay, and that's how it gets this gorgeous shine to it. Keep that seasoning too. Oh, it's stunning. I don't think I've ever had my Dutch ovens look this good. If you knew how old this frying pan is, you'd say, like, you just went and bought it, right? No. How old is it? Um, I think I got that after I got my first Dutch oven. Oh, really? So this has been along for the, the long haul. Is 
Are you seasoning these at all? Or are you uh -huh. just, okay. We're gonna put some Traeger poultry seasoning on them. There they go, sizzling. Call that the Gigi sizzle. I get to use Chuck's Dutch oven. <laughs> Lucky girl. I know, it's skillet. They're all good days. Some are just better than others. <laughs> I used to say that about my kids too. They're all good kids. Some are just better than others. <laughs> okay, wait, what are you doing over here? I'm going to preheat our uh, Dutch oven so that we can cook some chicken. This is for the chicken? Mm hmm So you're cooking it over here, browning it, but then you're going to be able to bring it back over to here. Yes. Got it. So if you were to do that in a Dutch oven, you would do you would brown it in the Dutch oven, then you would remove it from the Dutch oven, and then we're gonna we're gonna do that process right now. Why not um, just brown it in the same Dutch oven? Because you've got to put stuff on the bottom of it. Okay. The chicken doesn't go on the bottom. Got it. You got stuff that goes on before that. And if you're trying to brown with charcoal, I'm assuming it would take a lot longer. Yeah. Well. You have to have some pretty good heat. Okay. That's great. So we've got some slivered almonds here. And they go right in with the rice and the chicken broth. Perfect. Yummy. A little bit of sherry. Cooking sherry. Cream of chicken, chicken. soup. The spatula is too big for this. <laughs> We're learning. A little bit of rosemary. Fresh rosemary from my garden. Okay, so you've got it all layered in the bottom here. Yep. And is this really fresh rosemary from your garden? Yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. Is this killing you? Sorry. <laughs> it's like, come on, get the chicken in. Okay, this, I feel like just so layer, honored. Just layer that chicken. Hey, just spread it around, huh? Yeah. Hey. I can already tell there's going to be magic in this pot, huh? So we brown this chicken on both sides, and then it'll cook the rest of the way. Yeah. How are your hands? Sorry. <laughs> Come on. Questions. Get the shoe on the road. <laughs> so we just do a little shushy shushy. Yeah. What do you call this technique? Well, we want to wiggle mix, wiggle. We want to mix it in a little bit with the soup okay. mm. and the rice. The rice is going to be on the bottom. Yeah. The chicken is going to be on the top. It's mm. going to be so tender cooking in the broth. Mm. That looks good. How much time do we need? One hour. One hour on the dot. Okay. Do we ever peek at this one? Yes, we can. You can. <laughs> what are the rules? Uh, when it gets close to an hour, we'll peek at it. Okay. So no peeking. We'll look at it. We'll look at it. No. no peeking for one hour. Leave it alone. Trust it. Right. So what temperature are we cooking the almond chicken at? This is a 12 inch. We want about uh, 25 coals on here. Okay. So 350 degrees. Okay. Pretty consistent if we can. Yeah. And this table is super handy because it's going to block the wind for you. Yeah. See how high this is? I yeah. Like this. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We're taking a peek at our almond chicken. Oh. Mm. It looks like it's boiling. Yeah. Is that what we want? That's what we want. Okay. But we we got to give us some more time there. And we're about 30 minutes in on this, on yeah, our timer. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so 30 more minutes? Okay. Great. Okay, so it says seven minutes left, and here we are. How do you think it's looking? I'm going to try it. We're going to try it. Okay. I'm going to try some of the rice. Perfect. So that's what we're looking for, is the rice to be finished. Yes. Tender. Oh, dang, that's tasty. Mmm. <laughs> So a little bit early, you recommend checking it around 
50 minutes? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Great, so we've got our chicken here. We're ready to dish it up? Yeah. Okay, how would you serve this? Um, well, I want one piece of chicken on mine, so. Right, or three. You would serve it kind of like this. Okay, so all the goodness is there underneath. Mm. You can see the rice is all cooked. Yum. We're adding some beans on there. So here we have our almond chicken. Right. And this is, when did this recipe start in your family? Uh, about 40 years ago. 40 years ago. I caught wind of it and we cooked it in our house quite often and I said, oh, I'm gonna do that in the Dutch oven. Mm -hmm. That's what we do. You've never cooked it inside since then? Nope. Now this is the outdoor recipe. Almond chicken. We can't wait to dive in. Yeah, we love this on a camping trip. Yeah. It's like uh, my daughter-in-law, what's your favorite? Mm. And she's like, I had this camping is like pretty cool. Mm. I love that. A little taste of camping here with us in the middle of Sandy, Utah. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Thank you, Chuck. We're Thanks. excited to eat the almond chicken. Okay.